Welcome to Mathematics with Tom. I am Tom. And I want to take this video, it's a, a continuation of 6.1 in our textbook by Gilbert String. And we're going to look at some of the, um, let's look at some of the, the unique, you and I, unique relations. Unique relations in finding In finding eigenvalues, eigenvalues and vectors, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Okay, here we go. Remember, here's what we said. We said this. We said that if I have the matrix A is A, B, C, D. And I wanted to find the eigenvalues. What we would do is we would solve the equation. We would solve lambda squared minus the trace of a times lambda plus the determinant of a equals zero. And we, de we derive for that equation. But there's a few more properties that I want to show you. Here they are. The first one is, is let's write this out. If we use the quadratic formula, we would say that lambda is equal to, lambda is equal to the trace of a, the trace of a plus or minus this big square root. And we said the big square root is the trace of a squared minus four times one, so I won't write that, times the determinant the determinant of A. All of that is over 2. So watch what happens. So, so in other words, let's take lambda 1 plus lambda 2 and see what we get. Lambda 1 would be the trace of A plus, and then I'm just going to write a square root for all that stuff that's in the square root over 2 plus lambda 2 is the trace of a, trace of a, minus that square root, we call all that stuff underneath there, the discriminant, over 2. Well, notice what happens when I add these two. When I add these two, I get the trace of a times 2. I have plus the trace of a. The discriminant, the whole square root goes away over 2. Well, that is very simply that, lamb, that the trace of a plus the trace of a, that's 2 times the trace of a, divided by 2, we're left with the trace of a. Well, that's lambda 1 plus lambda 2 equals the trace of a. But look at what that means. That means that lambda 1 plus lambda 2 is equal to a plus d. So. Why do we show you this? It's the beauty of that is that you can check your solutions. If you take your, find your lambdas, and if they add up to the trace, you know you're on the right track. If they don't add up to the trace, then you know you made a mistake. And so it's a built-in check and balance system. Now here's a very careful pro problem to consider, and that is, is what this does not mean. This does not mean it does not mean that lambda 1 equals a and lambda 2 equals d. Now, in a, if you have a diagonal matrix, that's true. Or an upper triangular matrix, that's true. But it's not always true. So the, the left side. Those numbers are usually different numbers than the right side. However, their sums are the same. OK, that's the first thing I wanted to show you. The next one is, let's see what happens if I take lambda 1 times lambda 2. Let's see what happens. Well, that's going to give me the trace of a plus the square root of the discriminant over 2 times the trace of a minus the square root of the discriminant divided by 2. 
Now when I multiply these, this is going to be, let's be careful here. So this is the trace of a, trace of a squared. And now, remember now I'm going to have the trace of a minus the square root of a discriminant. Then I'm going to have a plus the trace of a times the discriminant. Those two terms are going to cancel. So then I'm going to be left with my final bit of multiplication of these two square roots. So the square root times the square root, that's going to go away. And it's going to give me a minus the square, I'll write it this way, the square root squared over 4. Okay, let's see, hopefully I have just enough room here. I'll give myself a little space. So I have the trace of a squared minus, now remember, when we square that square root, in, under the square root we had a trace of a squared. So let's go trace of a squared minus four times the determinant of a. All of that over four. Wait, but that is, that is just, that is, um, oh, the trace of a squared is canceled. So now I'm left with four times the determinant of a over four in there is. In other words, in other words, what have we found? We have found that lambda one times lambda two is equal to the determinant of a. So you have these two fascinating checks in balances when you're working problems to know if you're on the right track at any given time. Um, I always think that those are fun to prove, fun to see that relation. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.